trans athlete fails during limp Olympic event. Do we want to do we want to watch this? I bet this is going to be hilarious. Because wait a second, how can he put out a video like this? How can he put out a video like this where he spends all his time talking about how trans people are going to own out of uh out of everything? They're like, oh, trans people are going to destroy sports. And then it's like when they fail, they're like, ha ha. It's, it's just straight. It's just fucking fascist. It's just fucking fascist brain. Let's watch it. Fuck it. We're doing it. Six minutes. Good news from the Olympics. I, I love to start Monday on a good. Some, some, with some nah, good we're news. doing conservative rarely, reaction. Rarely can we do that, but we can here. Um, first of all, the U.S. women's soccer team lost to Canada. So <laughs> indignity on top of indignity. Uh, not only did they lose, okay. but they lost to Canada of all things. And that means they're no longer in contention for the gold. And that's, that's great news. Um, also this, from the Daily Wire, it says, New Zealand transgender weightlifter Laurel Hubbard competed and failed Monday in women's 87-kilogram um, weightlifting at the Tokyo Olympics. Okay. So I, I wish these measurements were in American, damn it. I don't know, kilogram, I think, what is that? Uh, <laughs> I have notes. Oh, God, he's so stupid. Oh, he, look, he has his notes on the table. Just write them down so you don't sound like such a fucking stupid person. Is my mic too loud? That was too funny. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. The two pounds is a kilogram? I could be totally wrong about that. Pretend I didn't say it if I'm wrong. In Hubbard's first attempt, the weightlifter tried to lift 120 kilograms and failed. In the 43-year-old's second attempt, Hubbard lifted a very shaky 125 kilogram. As noted by one of the female commentators, it was very surprising that the questionable 125 kilogram lift wasn't challenged with an appeal. On the third attempt, Hubbard could not lift the 125 kilogram, bouncing the weightlifter from the competition. The announcer said, quote, uh, that's the end of Laurel Hubbard, as Hubbard waved to the cameras and to those at the competition. Uh, and so now, now uh, this, this man is gone. Don doesn't even try. People, fascists uh, like Matt Walsh, lazy, moronic, fascist cucks like Matt Walsh don't even try to give basic respect. And that's good because he deserves to be humiliated in this faction. Fa Remember, this is the same guy who regularly talks about the reason why trans people shouldn't be allowed in sports is because they will destroy women. Now he is saying, with no irony whatsoever, that it is a good thing when the thing that he said that was going to happen didn't happen because he was wrong about it. Again, fascist brain. Simultaneously, the enemy must be weak and strong. Passion. Because this is cheating. No, it I don't, isn't. I don't care. It isn't cheating, you fucking moron. This is literally within the rules of the Olympics. It's not cheating at all, not even by the Olympic standards. She didn't cheat. What What the uh, insane official rules say. <laughs> I don't care what the rules say. I don't care what the Olympics actually say. It's cheating. Oh my God, he's so stupid. You're a male competing against females. You have, an, you have inherent biological advantage. She lost, Matt Walsh. Your art, you have to change the argument, you moron. You, you have the wrong notes. Matt, no, you have the wrong notes. He can't hear us. He's got his ear pods in. Advantages. You know you have those advantages, and you're using those advantages to your benefit. She, she lost. He's got the wrong notes. And I would say that's cheating. And so, so, he, so he lost, but... Of course, what's happening now, predictably, is that the left is saying that this actually proves that men don't have an advantage. They're celebrating this, too. They say, yeah, see? No, we're not celebrating it. We're just pointing out that your fucking narrative is stupid. This is, he's, he's failing to double think right now. You see, there's no advantage. Everybody's worried about Laurel Hubbard, a man competing against women. And a woman competing against women? And, uh, and she loses, and so you see, there's no, you, you guys are 
you're freaking out over nothing. There's no advantage at all. Yeah, there isn't. Yeah, except that this was a 43-year-old, pudgy, out-of-shape dude. My fucking dude. My fucking dude. All right. All right, we're doing it. All right, everybody, we're fucking doing it. Matt Walsh, you are a balding, chubby, weak, limp-wristed, heavily sedated, dried-out, shitty-skinned motherfucker. And you're going to talk about anyone else's appearance with your fucking rapidly? You can watch your hairline recede from video to video. I could, I could fucking put it on a time lapse and we would watch your hair go whoop, just like a fucking like a fucking platform in Mario whoop, just gone your lips are literally falling off your face every single video we watch and your beard gets shittier by the day look at these fucking limp ass wrists watch Have him lift up his wrists guy? watch does not look like a watch. weightlifter at just all. Watch. Looks like I could, I could probably. I want to see. Where do we have it? Do we have a moment where he's got his hand up on the screen? Look at this. Look at this fucking tiny. Look at his soft little hands. He hasn't worked a day in his life. Little podcaster hands. Oh, oh, ooh. Pathetic. Fucking pathetic. Fucking pathetic. And this guy's gonna fucking shame someone else's appearance. Too, literally too stupid to look up the metric system before he puts on his stupid video. A guy who straight up fucking looks like uh, somebody pressed random on the Dark Souls character generator screen. And that he got cursed with a, a rapidly, a rapidly diminishing hairline. Constantly soy facing. With tiny hands, and you can literally see, fucking bitch, my hands are are stronger than yours. I've got the fucking blacksmith hands in comparison to you. You've got little, what do you put lotion on before your stream every day? You need some more lotion, grandpa? Fuck off, you little cuck. Look at your fucking dry ass lips. Hey dude, you ever heard of Carmex? You ever heard of Burt's Bees? Get some fucking moisturizer on that shit. the men and then discovers true oh my god it is it's him <laughs> real picture of matt walsh after the show <laughs> oh my god it is it's fucking him it's fucking him <laughs> oh my god oh perfect late in life, that, oh, actually, I'm a woman. Well, what do you know? That's a coincidence, though. I mean, we, we, couldn't, we could never accuse Laurel Hubbard. Laurel, hasn't Laurel Hubbard been on hormones for, like, a decade? That's literally 10 times the Olympic requirement, you idiot. Sort of having this um, revelation for self-serving reasons, even if it was extremely self-serving, that's a coincidence. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Having a gender revelation for self-serving reasons. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Y y having a revelation about your own gender is indeed self-serving. Big brain takes from fucking Matt Walsh over here. Yeah. Obviously. What do you... Huh? What? What? What do you mean? Self-serving? I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I can't do it. I'm losing my fucking mind. I, I, I don't know. How, how, do, how is it legal? How is it, how is it allowed in this universe? It's that it's so self-serving. According on. to the Wikipedia, Laurel Hubbard started hormone therapy in 2012. It's been almost 10 years. Holy motherfucking God. I understand. Out of, completely out of shape, mediocre ass. Not, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Sleep. Um. A completely out of shake, shape, completely out of shape, mediocre, Olympic performer.
an out of shape Olympic athlete. This guy, what, a, what, just so patently. Look at this. Look right here, right here. You want to pay attention to something? Watch this. Look at what's in his ear right here. Do you know what this is? This is not a hearing aid. Do you know what this is? This is a fucking headset so his so his producer can help him along. This isn't a fucking hearing aid, just so you know. This is a fucking, this is a newscaster headset so that his fucking producer can be like, okay, now here's what you say next. Okay, now here's what you say next. Oh, you're forgetting your lines again? Here's what you say next, okay? Here's what you say next. Idiot. Of course he loses, but the fact that he qualified as an Olympic weightlifter. So is she out of shape? Is she unfit? Or is she an Olympic champion who sucks? Or is she good? Or is she bad? Oh, I guess it's all of it. First place against women tells you everything you need to know. I ask you, how many... Wait. Oh, I don't care. I, I literally don't care, Sister Rose. That person is uh, fucking ridiculous. It's all good. I, I am losing it from this video. Okay, I've had enough of this. Uh, I, 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 uh, we gotta finish it. Let's finish it. How many pudgy, out of shape, 43 year old females are qualifying as Olympic weightlifters? Can you give me an example of one? A bunch. This dude is competing against like 21 year old women. Is that true? Wait, uh, is that true? Hold on. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see. Let me find out. Let's do a live. I love doing this. I I love doing this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's find out. Oh my god. This website is so bad. Hold on. Hold on. Let's find out. Current records. Let's see. Twenty six. So that's not twenty one. Where do we find the rest? Here we go. All group summary. Let's just take a look. So 19, here's a 19 year old. Here's a 26 year old, that's almost 30. 21, 19, 22, 33, 26, 25, wrong, lying again, just lying again. Oh my God, just lying a fucking again. Oh my god, like all he does is lie. All he does is motherfucking lie. That's it. All he can do is lie and nothing else. Um, who have, who are, you know, talented athletes. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so Against their own tired. competition. And he waltzes in there and it makes it onto the stage at least. Oh, but yeah. The, the fact that this guy, this 43 year old guy couldn't win the, the gold. 46 or 43. Make up your fucking mind, dude. Oh, proves that men don't have an event. Yeah. You know what? If I, if I just uh, stumbled into the Olympics myself. Is she 46 or 43? And, uh, you know, and, and was accepted as a female. And I got on the track against um, the women in the 100 meter dash. I would lose badly. Well, that I was, I guess. Dude. You wouldn't even be allowed. You wouldn't even be allowed near them. They would arrest you for being a peeping tom. That proves that uh, men don't have an advantage, or it proves that I'm just slow, and I have no business being there. And of course, I would get beat. Yeah, it's it's literally a meme. If you really want to know about, yeah, it's literally a meme that like the strongest people look fat. It's just the way that it's just the way that their bodies are. The strongest people with true body strength look fat. You know the like, look, hold on, let me show you. Yeah, fucking look. These are like some of the strongest people of all time. Look at this guy. 
they look when they're when they're in their clothes they look fucking fat they're not fat they just look like it when they're in their outfits yeah when you're when you're a bodybuilder who's like for show then you look like the then you look like the um you know the oh, the met giga chad but when you're building for raw strength you look like this you look like fucking wario or some shit the advantage is that there's a website um called boysversuswomen.com boysvswomen.com and the whole website is dedicated to comparing the world record times the, the women's world record um times in track and field events against high school boys meaningless and if you go down the list it's meaningless so basically you have the best high school nice citation boys versus girls dot com okay we've seen enough of this i've seen enough of this fucking loser motherfucker i've had more than enough of this fucking idiot i can't do it anymore my blood is fucking boiling and i accidentally missed a donation so whoever donated to me thank you very very much seriously thank you very very much i'm sorry i missed the donation i am so angry okay everybody i'm not going to get angry anymore i know gay fesh this is Lee Win Wen, uh, the weightlifting uh, champion in that category. Yeah, this is the current champion. This is the fucking current champion who went up against Lo uh, who went up against Lauren Laurent. Look, not chubby, just fucking crazy strong. Matt Walsh is a fucking idiot. Matt Walsh is a goddamn idiot. Well, that's true. They are some of them are fat, and fat can be strong. But it's like they're not just fat, is what I'm saying. They're not over. They're not like overweight or out. I mean, I guess they are definitionally overweight because of the muscle. But like the way that Matt, Matt is talking about it is like Dr. Heem said he said he wasn't surprised by the result. Yeah. Okay. That's that that would make sense. Again, uh Matt Matt Walsh is a virtue signaling idiot who doesn't know anything that he's talking about. He just lies. Nothing that he says is factual. Nothing that he says is even remote. Is Matt just dumb or is he a grifter? Both. He is a massive grifter who works for the fucking Daily Daily Wire or whatever, and he also or Daily Caller, I can't remember which one of the daily bullshits that he works for. He's a dumb grifter. He is both personally stupid, obviously personally stupid. He fucks up his own jokes all the time. And also, uh, and also, um, a giant grifter. Daily Wire, whatever. Daily fucking. 